this contraption that we have here demonstrates what you would get, what you can get at an RV park uh, with your shore power and then that voltage that's being boosted through a Hughes Autoformer. So uh, last summer I got a lot of calls from customers saying that they were getting 104, 105 volts uh, supplied from the park. And what that does is it puts, puts undue stress on your AC unit, your, your microwave, anything that has a coil uh, or a compressor, things like that. They want volts, not necessarily amps. So when you're starving them of the volts, then they do draw more amps. Um, so right now, uh, you can see that the short power is giving me 108 volts. The power is going through my auto former. You can tell that it's boosting uh, 10% and it's giving me 118 volts. So this essentially would be the RV that has a Hughes Autoformer, and this would be an RV that does not. So they're getting 107, 108 volts. The guy with the Autoformer is getting 118, which is right exactly where you wanna be. You wanna be 120 volts. Uh, but I have a, uh, a wind meter, an anometer here, and you can actually see the difference. So if we put it right here, I'm giving getting about 7.8, uh, 8, eight or so miles per hour as far as wind speed. On the boosted one, I'm getting 10 and a half, 10.7, 10.9, almost 11 miles per hour. So definitely a, a, a decent amount more uh, push, um, faster airspeed. What that's gonna do is gonna allow your AC to actually push the cold air through your, your RV, uh, it's gonna allow the thermostat to reach temperature and your AC unit to actually kick off. You actually feel the effects of your cold uh, airflow, your AC unit. If you don't have an auto former and you're getting 107, 108 volts, this air is barely pushing out. You're probably not gonna have uh, the airflow throughout your coach that you would really want or need if you have your air, air conditioning unit running.